We just made these cute little laser cut night lights and we'll show you how to do it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. We have new videos each week. One of our patrons found these cute little night lights somewhere on the internet and <laughs> sent us a request for us to make them and show her how we would make them. Now she does not have Adobe Illustrator and we're always trying to show different ways that you can use the different software products. So you can use Lightburn, you can use Adobe Illustrator to do some of your designs. We're going to use our Xtool S1 and we're going to use Xtool Creative Space. The whole project can be created in Creative Space. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We needed some eighth inch birch and we needed some eighth inch acrylic and then I needed some cardboard for a test cut. We're also going to use some of the Starbond Thick for glue as we assemble the project. We're going to use our Foxy Hughes paints uh, and I think we're going to use a little stain. I think we're going to do a couple of different versions of these. Of course we need our night light bases. We got a little bulk pack of these and I'll tell you about these later. And then we're going to be using these LED light bulbs. Step two, we're going to make our design and we're gonna do it all in creative space. We'll meet you there. Here we are in Xtool Creative Space. I'm gonna import our PNG. And you can see we've chosen a selection of succulents. I thought this was a great versatile little project, but with these night lights, you could really use any clip art. Could be stuff for a kid's room, bathroom. I was thinking kitchen with these. Let's trace our PNG so that we can cut it out. Once we click on it, our little image tools will come up. We're just gonna click trace. I'm gonna leave all these defaults. It looks fine and click save. Now I have a vector version of this PNG up here and I no longer need this PNG. We can delete it. All right, let's ungroup these guys so we can start to manipulate them. Now this piece is gonna be our front piece or a little frame to our nightlight. And then we want an acrylic backer to this, like a solid acrylic backer. Now, if we make an outline and we set it to zero, 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 I'll just type zero. You'll notice that it traces everything. Everything got traced. I, I can't use this. I can't ungroup this. There's nothing I can do with it. Now, quick trick is I'm gonna outline it, but I'm gonna leave it like 0 0.01. And I'm gonna unclick, add inner outline for bitmap. Unclick that. Okay. Now I have just the outline, but it's just slightly too big. So I'm gonna outline it one more time, but this time negative 0 0.01. Now this should be the exact size of my little cactus up top. There you go, there's my little acrylic backer. But Kim wants to use two different colors for this backer. I want the tops to be a different color than the pots. So I want the cactus to be in green, the pots to be in a color. So let's line this up. I'm gonna need to cut this in half. So let's line this up so I can find a good spot where I can cut it in half. So I can see it, let's move this to the red layer. Now it stands out a little against the black. I'm gonna align them both vertically and horizontally. There you go. Now it should be all lined up. I'm gonna draw a box around the top of this cactus. Now I'm gonna try to hit it right at the top of the pot, right? So I'll cut it right in here, right in the meat of this pot, right on the lip. All right, I think that'll be a good split. So I'm gonna grab both the cactus and the box. I can drag them down here now. And I'm gonna make a copy, Control-C, and then a paste, Control-V. One, one of these is gonna be the top, one's gonna be the bottom. Right, I'm gonna grab both of these, come up to Combine, and then I'm gonna click Subtract Front. Now I just have my pot. I'm gonna grab both of these, go up to Combine, and I'm gonna do Unite at Overlap. Now I just have the cactus, there we go. There's my two different color bases. And if I line them up, they should fit perfectly. We'll go ahead and align them horizontally, see what it looks like. 
All right, this looks great. I think the pot and the cactus line up perfectly. My little frame, and now I have to do this about four more times over here. So let's do the rest of this in fast forward. But while we're watching, if you're enjoying this type of content, join us over on Patreon, where we're always sharing additional design tips and tricks. Folks ask for questions and Garrett will put little videos out there, not only for Xtool Creative Space, but also Lightburn and Adobe Illustrator. He shares that kind of information on Patreon, as well as our Discord channel. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna take the eighth inch birch and the acrylic over to the Xtool S1 and cut them out. But before I do that, I wanna check to make sure our design line width won't just burn up. So we're gonna cut it out in cardboard so that we don't waste any of the materials. That's a great little tip. You can do a test cut in cardboard. It's cheap, you have it laying around with all those Amazon boxes. Yeah. You could do a quick test cut to make sure it seems like it's gonna hold, like he said, maybe not burn up uh, if the line's looking a little thin. So it's a great option to do a test cut. Our cardboard test came out great. The line thickness looks great. I mean, they look perfect. I yeah. want to do something with these. What can I do with these? It's just cardboard, but I hate to waste them. They look awesome. They do look great. So now we're going to take the real materials back to the S1 and cut out our design. All right, we're ready to cut out our top pieces, our little frame pieces. So we need to move these guys off of our canvas. And we'll move our little frame pieces down. Now let's pick our material. Let's see what materials they have. We'll go to more. We have some three millimeter birch. We'll say pine plywood, that works. Use. I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna make them cut. I'm gonna go with 100% power, 12 millimeters per second. That's what it suggests. Kim is gonna move the laser head to the middle of the board and then we're gonna measure the distance or check the thickness. So this is automatic, it'll come down, drop a pin, check it, and tell us what our actual thickness is. All right, let's frame this out. Kim's back there manning the framing. Everything looks good, let's process this and hit start. <laughs> The wood pieces look great, now let's do our acrylic. So we'll move these frame pieces off of our canvas, we'll just move them up top, and we'll start dragging on some pieces that we want cut out of acrylic. I think we'll start with these two pieces and we'll do that light green, the light green acrylic. So let me go pick my materials, let's see what they got. Let's check three millimeter. Oh, let's check green. Nope. Let's try three millimeter. I only see orange and black. I think we'll try orange. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. I don't know. This, I'm a little concerned because this one is considered translucent, but let's give it a try. I, I mean, mean, it doesn't look it's not super translucent, no, just it, a little bit. Just a little bit. So let's frame this out and try it. All right, looks good. Let's process this and hit start. Our birch shapes came out beautifully. They cut perfectly first try. The acrylic is a different story. Now, I knew the S1 won't cut clear acrylic. It is a diode laser. Uh, but I really thought it would cut this uh, transparent acrylic because it does have some color to it and it's covered on both sides in paper. So I thought there was a good chance. I was wrong. But the, the challenge with the transparent acrylic is it still cannot focus. 
on the material. Once it goes through and it hits the paper, it comes through the clear and it just won't focus and therefore it just, the laser beam is too wide, it makes a mess, it just melts the acrylic. Yeah, I just melted the back, blew out the paper, didn't cut through all the way, but I think I can save it. I think I can take this over to the P2, line it up and cut it out. And then we'll cut out the rest of the acrylic. And we don't leave, want to leave you thinking that it won't cut acrylic at all. We have tested the diode laser on red acrylic. Uh, it's just opaque acrylic. It has to be completely uh, opaque where you cannot see through it. So uh, all the tr acrylic we're using for this project will be transparent. So we are going to move over to the CO2 laser. So let's try this again. I'm not giving up. We're going to move to the P2 and uh, see if we can get through this acrylic. So I'm going to switch my laser. we we'll click on this. And then over here on the left, I can switch my device. I'm going to Wi-Fi. All of our Xtool products are Wi-Fi. Of course, it's going to change my settings. We're going to pick our materials. Let's go to more. Let's see what they got in acrylic. There's a lot more choices here, <laughs> a lot more. We'll pick, uh, we'll just say three millimeter transparent acrylic. Now let's see if I can line these up so I, that I don't waste this acrylic. And to do that, I'm going to go up to my close capture view. Oh, here's select where we it right use, here. Really yeah. use the features of the P2. Mm -hmm. All right, it's going to take a little snapshot. Now I can zoom in and line these little cut lines right up on what was already there. Let's try to save this. No acrylic left behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not cheap. Don't want to waste it. No, I'm, I'm not wasting this stuff. I'm getting it out of here. All right, what do you think? I mean, it looks awesome. All right, let's uh, go ahead and say cut. It's telling me that it's 100% power, 20 millimeters per second. I'm gonna leave it. I, I trust it. I'm trying to turn this closed caption view off. How do I? How do I turn? All right, forget it. Let's just uh, process this thing. Process and start. Now we paint. <laughs> We're going to use our Foxy Hues paints. So actually I'm going to stain two of these and then I'm going to paint three of them so we can see different options. And I did go back to the S1 with some transparent red and some opaque black and I was able to cut one of mine out. Oh, so that is transparent red, not opaque red. It's a transparent red, but it's pretty opaque. All right, so that tells you it just needs to not be see-through. You just don't want that light really to pass through very much. Step five. It's time to bring it all together with some Starbound Thick. We're just going to put some dots on the frame and then put the acrylic on top of it. Well, I think we have varying techniques. I'm going to put some dots on the frame and then lay it on the acrylic. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see which one works yeah, better. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you, we'll report back. Now that we have our little frames on our little acrylic pieces, we're gonna glue the little tabs on that will allow us to slide it onto the light socket. Doing it Garrett's way allows you to immediately put that back on. Like, I don't want to turn mine over until it's a little drier. Pro tip, don't use so much glue on the acrylic pieces. Bits. I try to use, I mean, I see you have the, your, it's probably more micro than mine. Mine's microed out. <laughs> Step six, profit. 
Now these are pretty easy to make and I forget how much we were in on them. Well, I can tell you. <laughs> so for the actual night light plug piece, it was about, and the bulbs were about $2.20 uh, for that piece of it. And then for the uh, birch and the acrylic, I would say we were in, what did I say, about $3. So I think you're looking in between $5 and $6 uh, in materials. And I think that you could sell these for $16 to $25, depending upon how much, uh, Details, how intricate stuff, they are. Yeah. Right. And then Garrett's, are you oh, going to take care of some? So, mm -hmm. so Garrett's is two layer acrylic. And I think you could charge a little bit more for two layers of acrylic. Because it just looks a little bit crisper. It just, oh, I like that one. I don't know. I don't know. I think these look great. And so what I tried to show here is that these are a little bit uh, more on geared towards adults, like a great kitchen night light. But of course, there's so many different things you can do with these. You can personalize them. They can be in kids' rooms. They can be in bedrooms, bathrooms. Garages. Of, yeah, like, yeah, they could be in a man cave. You could do something cool with like a custom car. I think there's so many different ideas for these. And thanks, Ingrid, for the great idea. I think this is a great project to share with everybody. And a big thanks to all of our other patrons. We love you guys, and that is the best way to support this channel. So join us over on Patreon, where we have all of our cut files, a secret Facebook group, and now a Discord channel so many other things there's a whole community out there extra content extra videos come join us over on patreon and these things are no no oh, oh it's oh. happening <laughs> ah it happened oh my all right gosh. i'm about out of time so i will see you next week where we'll do it build it and make it again